الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked about the most beloved deed to Allah عز وجل and he said salat ala waqtiha he said prayer in its time thumma qultu thumma qult oh thumma ay qala jihad qala bir walidin qultu thumma ay qala jihad fi sabilillah so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked what is the most beloved deed to Allah azza wa jal he said prayer in its time and then he said being obedient to your parents and then he said jihad fi sabilillah one of the great benefits of that hadith is it shows us the importance of our prayer and that we should strive our utmost to perfect our salat because when the salat is done properly then that will be a means for your physical spiritual and mental purification because as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran that the prayer prohibits a person from fahisha from from uh wicked sinfulness things like zina and, and adultery and so forth so one of the ways of measuring if your salat is being accepted or not is is it helping you to stay away from those major sins is salat the fact that you're praying five times a day and more those sunan prayers is that helping you to stay away from sinfulness If the answer is no, then you need to work on your prayer. You need to go back to perfecting your prayer, making sure your wudu that you're making wudu properly. Making sure that you're performing all the physical actions of the prayer properly. And making sure that you have khushur and khashya. That you have humility and fearfulness of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala during your prayer and concentration that you're not busy with the dunya and busy with those outside issues those things that take you away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that's how we should use our prayer as a means to it's our communication with Allah azza wa jal and it is the means it is one means to help us stay away from wicked and sinfulness and shameful acts and shameful deeds and may Allah forgive us and protect us I mean so never be lazy in your salat never be lazy in your prayer never be lazy in supplicating and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those things which you need as well that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers the supplication of the one who supplicates to him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna alladheena yastakbiruna an ibadati sayadkhuluna jahannam dakhilin aw dakhirin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says verily those who are arrogant in by in in their worship of me meaning that they're not worship they're too proud to worship they're too proud to call and supplicate upon Allah they're too proud to bow down before their lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who created them that they'll enter into the hell fire and that's a wicked wicked abode may Allah protect us i mean and our families i mean and the muslims in general i mean so i wanted to just make that to be of that important reminder of striving to perfect your salat and may Allah bless us to implement that in our lives and to better ourselves and be of those people who are the khashiin wa 
صابرين ومتطاهرين ومصدقين and all of those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with and loves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.